Our demo for today is Domo. What is Domo? Domo is a business cloud, low code environment for developing a business intelligence report and building uh, applications. We're going to jump in today, take a look at Domo, orient around its capabilities, and more importantly, we're going to see a demo. That said, let's jump in with the login. Once you log into Domo, we're brought into a screen that looks like this. To the left are some navigation options, as well as to the top. In the middle is the canvas for building the visualizations. A uh, couple of things to call out. There are dashboards that can be viewed in Domo, alerts that could be set uh, based on dashboards in the report, some collaboration options, an app store that could be used to find applications to use, data sources that are connected to, as well as some other options for data science. Let's go into warehouses. Uh, here we see the options for connecting the warehouse. In this case, you can add a new warehouse. Of course, select uh, Snowflake, authenticate with your username and password. With that done, our Snowflake account is now connected. Go ahead and select that account. Click next. This should browse our Snowflake schema to show us the data sets that are available within Snowflake. So for this, we're going to be leveraging the public schema. Uh, there is some mock data that we have in there. We can also go in and take a look at some of the TPCDH uh, data sets that are available, uh, bringing our uh, customers or so bringing others, select the customer's data, uh, bring that. And this now allow us to create data set within Domo. Domo uses the concept of federated query. What federated query essentially means is you can have different underlining uh, data sources. So this could be Snowflake or some other different RDBMSs. Domo sits as that federated layer on top and can push down the query to each of those uh, different sources. With the data set created, uh, we can go ahead and uh, create a visualization. We can share this data set. We can tie this up with some flows. We can also go in and create alerts. From a visualization perspective, uh, we can go in create a new connected card as an option. You can see an overview of that. You can see the data with some profiling embedded within the data set. Here are the cards we can create. Uh, there is settings showing up the table we're working with. There is some lineage as well and some history and some other uh, options for uh, personalization as well as alerts. Let's go back to the card. And we're going to add a new card in here. This is the visualization aspect within Domo. Now it's automatically detected the dimensions for us, as well as some of the key measures within our data set. Let's brought that into the screen. We can select the chat type we want, change the chat type based on your data. Uh, different data sets make sense with different chat type. If we had geographic data or location aware analytics we're trying to perform, we can also select those options uh, as well for us. Just to keep this really basic, this is not a BI tutorial, just more of a concept of what uh, Domo really is about and its capability. So here you can see a preview of that data. And we're going to run this, this preview and it should give us a chart. Now, not the best looking chart there is on planet Earth, I'm sure, but you hopefully get the concept of the BI visualization capability uh, that the tool is capable of. So think about like Power BI or Tableau or some of the other BI tools you might be familiar with. If we're happy with this, you can certainly do annotations. There are a lot of things that could be done, properties, filtering, sorting, tons of capabilities to deep dive into. But what we want to do here is save this and just call this as overview, or you can give it a new name and choose the data set. Or we're leveraging this uh, customer data set we uh, created from the beginning and we can save that. So this card now should be saved into uh, the overview dashboard. So a dashboard is essentially a series of cards. And if we want to, we can go ahead and add an existing card or assign a card creation or create a new card or a card collection. So your dashboard now becomes this collection of cards that drive uh, insights. So let's go back to create card uh, again, select uh, the type of card. This is the visualization, a notebook or a doc card. Let's select visualization, existing data. We have an existing data set. What data set do we want? 
that federated Snowflake uh, customer data. If you wanted the sample data, of course, you can use that. Let's actually use the sample data just for the sake of the demo. It's going to give us some visualization. Save this. And now this visualization or this card should be saved into a dashboard. So let's save and close so we can go back into that dashboard. So right off the bat, we're building this uh, <clears throat> multi-pattern dashboard within Domo with data sets, some of it coming from sample data sets, some of it coming from Snowflake. If you have a heterogeneous type environment, this could be relevant. But what we're seeing is a lot of that data being centralized in Snowflake. Then your cards could all be sourcing from one, uh, from one location. So I uh, just read off the bat, uh, that's uh, a quick tip of the iceberg of what Domo does. It's uh, a, a BI capability, visualization capability supporting our uh, heterogeneous uh, data sources. We've seen how you can connect to Snowflake with their federated query. You can upload your own file and, and work with that data. You can leverage uh, the connectors they have either for SaaS applications to uh, get data from this or uh, more native uh, RDMS type applications to get data from uh, files are supported as well. IoT type devices, S3, uh, Firebase, Kafka streaming data coming in, JSON, and then you can always, of course, upload your own data set. Once you have that within the, uh, the Domo environment, take it from there to build your cards. And then the collection of those cards now become your dashboards that can be uh, used and, and shared by your team. We went in to see how to create a very simple dashboard that could be used uh, by the team. Now, once the dashboard has been created, we can take this, we can share this, we can embed uh, this particular dashboard as a HTML, or we can allow for export, allow for private to get the embedding card as an iframe. And now this can be embedded into a front end application that the team might be looking at. So there you have it, a quick overview of Domo. As always, highly recommend if you have questions or needing a specific deep dive on Domo, reach out to the team. We've touched the tip of the surface here. There are lots of capabilities uh, for the app store. Haven't gone into that the collaborative aspect with Buzz. What also caught my attention is the data science capability the team seems to have. So these are things that would potentially be uh, relevant to look at if that's of interest to you. Demos are not available for me in this account, but hopefully this situates Domo for you and give you an idea where it fits within the modern data space. On the visualization side, on the exploratory self-service analytics side, giving you access to data from heterogeneous uh, data sources to build a dashboard. If you think about Power BI, you think about Tableau, you think about a lot of those visualization tools, Domo would be in that space. So again, as always, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Let us know if you have any questions or comments. Links to this will be in the description below. And I'll see you in the next demo. Oh, <laughs>